we just arrived in St. Augustine, getting ready to head to the KOA and then to the lighthouse. We had a great time at the Cape Canaveral lighthouse. It was really nice. Yeah, definitely. And you know, I, I had no idea that we were going to see all, all of the, the, the space history stuff on, on that tour also. That was really cool. Yeah, so we definitely yeah. had some unexpected bonuses um, on that tour, so it was great. Um, we were a little disappointed that we did not get to hike to the top of the lighthouse, but we yeah. did at least get to go up to the third floor, which was pretty nice. And we picked up some really nice souvenirs, which I'm very excited about the passport book that we got so that we can start documenting all of the lighthouses that we visit on our trip. Yeah, absolutely. That'll be cool. All right, so we again are pulling into St. Augustine um, Beach right now on um, the main thoroughfare. So we are going to get checked in, set up, and then we're going to take the bike out and head out to the lighthouse. So we'll see you at the next destination. So we stayed at the St. Augustine Beach KOA Holiday, and um, it was a really nice campsite, um, had a lot of amenities. We only stayed there for, for one night, just an overnight trip, uh, you know, because of our uh, schedule with the Lighthouse Tour, but, uh, you know, definitely a nice place and convenient to uh, all the attractions. Hey, so we are here, KOA, St. Augustine, Florida, and we have a really cool site. I mean, look at this little fire pit area here with the benches. We got our own table and chair set. We've got a grill over here. It's pretty sweet. Good. Nice setup. Loving this. to the St. Augustine Lighthouse. This happens to be the second lighthouse on our lighthouse tour that is sponsored by Campgrounds of America. Thank you, KOA. And so if you have not watched the first video, just kind of go back and watch that. We were at Cape Canaveral. So we are continuing on our journey up the East Coast um, visiting nine total lighthouses and if we can fit in some more lighthouses we will. St. Augustine Lighthouse was built in 1874 um, and is the second lighthouse tower in St. Augustine. Uh, the first one was built in 1824, but there, ha there has been something on this site, uh, some type of a navigational aid uh, dating back to, the, to 1565, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. The entrance fee to get into the St. Augustine Lighthouse is around $15 for adults. Um, they do have other special events like the uh, ghost tours that you can do at night. 
and they also have special sunset tours that you can do also um, you can get all of the information for the different events and pricing on their website there will be a link in the description so you'll want to go and check that out five gallons of fuel and weighed about 30 pounds and he had to climb all 219 steps with this in his hand. <laughs> so the fun part about visiting lighthouses is the climb to the top. This lighthouse was actually pretty interesting because as we ascended to the top they actually had signs kind of letting you know how many steps that you had climbed up to that point so that was actually pretty interesting yeah and if you're you know trying to uh uh track your your fitness goals you know definitely make sure that you that you wear your wear your smart watch and, and get credit for those steps <laughs> oh yeah you definitely do not want to miss out on that <laughs> yeah absolutely but once you get to the top um, the views are really just amazing um, and that's really a very cool thing about once you get to the top of it. Yeah, the view from the top here was really amazing. Um, really just a, a nice view of uh, St. Augustine and, and of the ocean right there on the Atlantic. It was, it was really nice. Very, very. You can just see for miles and miles and miles. And I just love the scenery, just the um, bay that's right there. Um, just so beautiful. I mean, you have to climb to the top. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, St. Augustine is just such a cool town. There's so much other stuff to see and do. So it's just a great trip. Yeah. So after the lighthouse tour, uh, we drove down the street and there was a mellow mushroom there and I had to get some pizza. So uh, yeah, that was that was really good. And so we just drove down to uh, downtown St. Augustine and um, there was Castillo de San Marcos, which is just an awesome um, historic fort. It was actually closed on this day, so we didn't plan that that well enough. But um, you are still able to even even when it's closed uh, the, the grounds are still open so I just had to kind of just just do a walk around and check it out I mean it's 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 right there on the marina it's it's, it's really really beautiful and um, you know this is this is a, a, a tour that if you're in St. Augustine you definitely want to make make the time to do because it's just a just a really awesome uh, fort to uh, visit great, great architecture and just great, great history. So, uh, you know, definitely make time for that. Um, I believe it's open, you know, Wednesday, Wednesday through, through Sunday. So, you know, you gotta kind of plan around that.
So we're headed back to the KOA, getting ready to call it a day and uh, get ready to head to our next destination on this lighthouse tour. This will be number three coming up. So uh, y'all have a good one and we will see you soon. Be sure to check out our selection of travel apparel at shopredsquare.com and our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description. Thank you.